a short question here that concerns sigma notation and the adding up of a series. Now, sigma notation, one of the great things that we tend to do with sigma notation is completely ignore it. Here we've got to go from 5 to n. Sigma means we're going to add things up. The formula we're using, 2r minus 1. So to ignore this, we simply start having a look at the sequence. The count goes from 5 to n. Put 5 in the formula, get 9. Sigma means we're going to add. Put 6 in the formula, get 11. Put 7 in the formula, 13. You get the picture. And if we keep going, the final thing we put in the formula when we slot n in is 2n minus 1. This, it seems to me, is an arithmetic sequence. Common difference, adding 2 each time. And we simply want to add this thing up. To add an arithmetic sequence up, one of the easiest things to do is total number of terms divided by 2 and multiply by that first plus the last. So, to add this thing up, we need the first term, there it is. We need the last term, we're going to leave the n in, there's the last term. And we need the number of terms, now the number of terms, this one's slightly awkward. First term, easy enough, 9. Last term, easy enough, 2n minus 1, both sat there. Number of terms is the other thing we'll need. Neat trick here is just imagine that n was just imagine that n was six. So let's just do this down here. Imagine n was six. If n was six, then the number of terms do six minus five would give one. And put five in, put six in, clearly there would be two terms. So 1 plus 1 would give us the two terms. Which means that to find the number of terms here, what we do, take the n, subtract the 5, that's going to give us something that is 1 less, so let's add 1 onto that. And minus 4, that's the number of terms we're dealing with here. Add this up then, the total sum, the sigma sum of this is number of terms divided by 2, first term plus the last term, which will give us 1 half of n minus 4, 2n plus 8. I can factor a 2 out of this. If I factor a 2 out of that, I will get 2 times a half is 1. But 2 factored out gives me n plus 4. And if I multiply the brackets together, I will get n squared minus 16. And that's minus 